Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Hi, Carter Sherline from Michigan Runner News. And we have with us Ron Gunn, who has a long biography of running uh, activities. And he's been a coach, a uh, race director. Uh, he, he runs the Carnstone adventure tours and uh welcome ron thanks carter good fired up to be here fire up so um uh one of the couple events that we we always are happy to uh cover each year the um sand hill crane all trail and let me get this right i think it says the distances in the name half marathon 10k and 5k I think it even says 1K in the in the title, in the 1K official, kids official run. title, which is the kids run. Uh, so and uh, now last year you were able to fit that one in uh, in during the pandemic with precautions uh, um, as an in-person race, and uh, it went off very well. Uh, I think you had a quite a field actually. That. Yes, it did. We were very happy. And again, we had a socially distant start uh, and, and that worked out very well. And uh, Scott Wyman at Cass County Parks, you know, took all kinds of precautions and gave us uh, good, good leadership and really worked hard at the facility. So it was a very safe race. I think everybody enjoyed it. Yes, I think so. So that that is held at this is it's held at, at Lawless County Park. It's a real gym in Michigan. And the half marathon is 13.1 miles of non-repeat trails. So I think this is really a cool course. And it's it's a very challenging, yet it's it's very scenic. And uh, we get real good reviews from all the runners. They really enjoy it. Well, I've been part of the crew or been the whole crew some years for many years shooting it. And I can definitely attest to this beautiful, beautiful course. Um, so that's in Vandalia. Well, it's a technic officially it's in Vandalia, but I think it's actually kind of on the border. It's in between a couple of towns, but it, it's off of US. It's off of Highway M60, M60. about 15 miles uh, west of Three Rivers, Michigan. Okay. And Three Rivers is a good place for people from your part of the state to stay overnight. Yes, yes. Okay, so 2021, uh, tell us about this year's event. Well, we're going to do the race again. It'll be October 23rd and uh, should be very good weather and, and some good color. I had to do October 23rd. We usually run it the week before, but my uh, Cairnstone Tours trip to Utah, I sold three different trips. So I'm backed up and I'll be out in Utah for over a month just running off all of those trips. But we're gonna go on Saturday, uh, October 23rd, again with the half marathon and also a 10K and a 5K and the kids run. Okay. Yeah, the, the kids, kids run was, uh was a lot of fun. I, it seemed like there were more, definitely more kids uh, than past years. I think the races in general, they just didn't have any competition. <laughs> so you yeah. you kind of had uh, that time frame to yourself. I didn't want to do a virtual because I think the real selling point of our race is the course, you know, and well, yeah. I want people to do it. So we just kept it safe. Okay. Well, thank you for talking to us, and we look forward to seeing you out on the trails. Uh, fire up. Thank you, Carter. Fire up.